Hey, water signs. Welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today, we're going to do a timeless reading. This reading is geared towards light workers, star seeds, indigos, rainbow children. You will know how this applies to your situation. This is a channel message. This is a message in regards to our life path and our life purpose, what we signed up for here during this time, during our journey. Okay. And um, we are being guided to help raise the vibration of the collective right now during this time. And these messages will be able to help us heal ourselves so that we can help raise the vibration of others because that's required right now. Very powerful acquirement. So if you feel like you resonate with any of those titles, you might want to watch this video because there's messages in it for you guys. Okay. I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me today. And if you're returning, thank you for, um, you know, joining me again and re returning back to the channel. Um, I always charge both of my decks with crystal organite pucks and doing so it charges balances and aligns the energy for our reading. I also charge both decks on top of your own personalized cards, astrological cards. So again, this reading is for cancer, Pisces and Scorpio, sun, moon, rising and Venus individuals. And I hope everyone is doing well. Currently both of my decks, there are no reversals. Every single card is upright. So when I shuffle, if we pull any reversals, I'm going to take those cards because those are aligned with the messages that I meant to give you guys today. So the message right now, right? We're needing to raise the vibration specifically because there's a lot of fear, a lot of angst, a lot of anxiety. And as light workers, it is our duty to give messages to assist vibrationally in healing. Because right now, fear anxiety, worry, stress is diminishing the quality of life of a lot of people. And I don't think anyone, you know, if you're going through so much, you're not thinking about that on a spiritual level. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're watching Tara and you're watching this message specifically, and you were guided to watch it, there's a message in it for you. We're going to do two cards. One is going to be a general energy and one is going to be a possible outcome. In doing so, when I draw these cards, these cards are giving us messages about what we need to work on so that we can help raise the vibration or what it is that we are able to contribute right now in our energy fields. Okay. You've seen at the bottom of the deck, you have the um, high priestess. This is the card of Pisces, right? And it's just as specific to Pisces, but this is a watery energy in general. So it applies to Cancer and Scorpio also. I'm going to hold the cards down and I'm going to part it. Absolutely. The eight of wands. We are, a lot of you guys are getting ready to give messages and it's going to be fast moving messages. I feel like a lot of you guys, especially with us just seeing that high priestess and now we're seeing the eight of wands. A lot of you guys are going to be delivering messages quickly. I feel like a lot of you guys intuition, especially with the high priestess, your intuition is going to be leading you to ways to communicate with people quickly to assure them about what it is that they need to do to balance themselves so that they're not allowing fear to cripple them. And that's, and that's not a word that I use. That's I'm picking that up intuitively. Okay. As we part the deck to shuffle, you have the hangman. A lot of people are in hangman mode right now. A lot of people are so unsure of what's going to happen moving forward. A lot of people are facing layoffs. A lot of people are facing financial hardships and they're needing to hear these messages from you. They're needing to feel the energy, your vibration, that's going to help them feel like they're not, you know, hanging upside down. A lot of people feel like they are literally hanging upside down right now. I don't feel like this is you guys' energy. This could apply to a lot of you all, but I don't feel like this is you guys' energy. I feel like it's individuals around you who are literally feeling wrapped up and entangled in the chaos. And as I say wrapped up, you see how his legs are entangled in those chains. You have people around you who feel completely unhinged. And they feel like their world has been literally, you see how he's upside down. They feel like their world has been flipped upside down to due to this pandemic. This can apply to you also, but I feel strongly like a lot of you all are experiencing this with people around you. Okay. So like I said, we're going to get two cards. One is going to be a general energy. The other is going to be a possible outcome. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. It's very important that you guys keep yourself aligned and balanced right now. If you are into meditation, you're needing to probably do extra sessions. And if you're not into meditation, the message that I'm picking up right now is that a lot of you guys need to start meditating. 
And it doesn't have to be something that's so difficult. You can listen to binaural beats, tones, things like that, that will help balance out your spiritual equilibrium, your um, emotional equilibrium, that'll help you remain balanced. And I wasn't going to show this, but I'm being got to show you. Eight of Swords. Like I said, a lot of people are in their head. Next to the Seven of Swords. I mean, Seven of Pentacles. A lot of people being hesitant. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people are in their head. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. You see how she's hesitant to grab this pentacle. And she's looking almost like she's not certain. She doesn't trust it. A lot of people are in their head right now. About what's going on around them. They don't understand. They don't see a clear way out. That's why they are in bondage. And I just said, they don't see a clear way out. Their eyes are blindfolded. So a lot of people, when you come try to give these messages of support and messages of comfort, they're going to be hesitant to listen to it because right now they're stuck in this state of mind. And again, this also could apply to you, but I don't feel like this is strongly connected to you, especially with us picking up that initial energy with the high priestess. I feel like a lot of you guys are spiritually in tune, but I will say with that eight of swords popping up, I feel like a lot of you guys may be in your head about how to process this. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting downloads that it's going to be a little difficult for you to process. And that could also be why we've seen the seven of um, pentacles. You know, you're going to have a little bit of confusion. Some of you all will have confusion about what it is that you're um, intuiting about the things that you're picking up. You're confused about whether it's things that you are making up in your own head or if there are things, those are legit messages that you are picking up. And I'm going to tell you right now it is. There's a portal that's open right now. When things go on in the world that causes a lot of chaos and calamity, there's light and dark, good and bad, if you want to put it that way. Either yin and yang, as above, so below. Either way it goes, there's always a balance. You cannot have a lot of chaos going on without a resolution. And absolutely, there's a resolution with this Nine of Cups. You are going to help people be at peace. And people are going to see... As they said, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This is water sign energy. This is the very first card. Look how powerful this energy is. You guys are showing up in your own energy. You guys are showing people that there is healing and there is actually a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Right now, things are very chaotic, especially for a lot of people. But you're going to speak light into these individuals and they're going to realize that things are not as grim as they may right now seem to be. That's a very positive card and it's upright. And you guys see that there are reversals in this deck currently right now after we shuffle. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. You guys are going to be a powerful force in a lot of people's life. This is you guys' energy. You have two cup energies. You went from the Nine to the Ace. And again, I told you guys, I don't feel like that anxiety and worry is coming from a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys could be feeling that most definitely because you are water signs, water energy. So you feel everything deeply. If you feel anxious worried and concerned i don't feel like it's your energy i feel like intuitively especially with us seeing in high priestess i feel like a lot of you guys are empaths look how large that cup is that's a lot of energy that's a lot of things being absorbed and you see how this eye is right here and there's this like light coming down on it i feel like you're absorbing this light so a lot of you guys are absorbing other people's energy so be mindful of that keep your shields up keep your protective energy up you know talk to your spirit guys your guardians light beings that surround you who are here with you on your journey you're needing to do that and as i say that most definitely because you see the nine of cups he's facing the direction of the ace of cups which lets me know you're very intuitive at this time look at how big that eye is that large eye looking over that cup this cup is your energy you're very intuitive at this time and this large cup is sitting right here in this body of water so be mindful of your emotions but overall, just look at this energy there are reversals in that deck and both of these cards are coming up right a lot of people are going to be looking to you right now for comfort and that's also why you have these nine of cups you you have most these cups is like various people around you people are going to be coming to you for comfort for confirmation a lot of you guys are intuitives a lot of light workers are intuitives <laughs> and as i said at the bottom of the deck you have the three of pentacles like i said three of pentacles is about working together and, and I'm telling you right now, a lot of people are going to be looking to you for counsel. Because if you look at it, there's one person standing up here on this bench and there's two people listening to whatever it is he's saying. A lot of people are going to be seeing you as wise counsel right now. At the bottom of the deck, you have a three of swords. What I pick up with this energy that there's a lot of people who are feeling that they are going through some difficult, very difficult times right now. 
A lot of people are worried about finances, health, overthinking because swords is the mental communication. A lot of people are overthinking. That's what this three of swords, that's what I'm picking up. A lot of people are overthinking. Again, I'm going to tell you, I don't feel like this is your energy. And if you were feeling like that, you're coming into a time where you're no longer going to be feeling like that because I feel like you're going to realize that you need to be this beacon of light. Look at that light right there coming down. You're going to need to be this beacon of light for the people around you. A lot of people are going to need you to raise their vibration and help cheer them up. <clears throat> you know, it's not a couple is about that celebration. Right. As we part the deck so that we can shuffle. Absolutely. Look at the sword energy. A lot of you guys can have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements in your chart. Also, a lot of you guys can have air sign individuals in your circle who are going to be coming to you for some type of guidance. Right. Also, with the three, this is very interesting. So you literally go from the three to the four. So a lot of you're going to be able to help people be at rest. They're going from this place of anxiety, hurt, fear, and, you know, just worrying about things. So now once they talk to you, they're at a place of, of rest. You're going to help put these individuals to rest and some of their fears to rest. I always say you, you literally went from the three to the four. There's three of swords. In this particular card, the, the swords are literally in the heart. In this card, those three stars are hovering. Those three swords are hovering over the heart, which means they are no longer literally physically in a heart. You're going to communicate with people on a level to where now they are able to heal. The four swords is about somebody who's taking the time to lay down and heal, rejuvenate. And your words are golden. Look at how this person, this individual, the bed is gold. You know, this person is gold. Your words are golden, which means your messages are getting to your messages are getting to them in a powerful way. We're going to get a card to clarify the nine of cups and the ace of cups. Look at that. Absolutely. Now this three of swords is in reverse and then you have a tower card right now. They are feeling like they are, they are in tower moments. I feel like a lot of people collectively feels like their whole world has come crumbling down. But you're going to be able to help them see that it's not the end of the world. Literally, it may feel like to a lot of people, it's absolutely not. I'm here to tell you that right now. You know how many end of the worlds that we are, <laughs> we have faced. I'm 35 years old and I've seen so many quote unquote end of the worlds. And we're going to see many more going forward. But you're needing to be mindful that no, there's the end of cycles portals are being open dimensions are being open things are being open and brought to our attention to help raise the collective as i said in the past readings that i just did that i just did the air sign and the fire sign readings literally when things happen it catapults people into reaching and finding something else be it religion spirituality when things happen, it forces people to look deeper into how do they heal or they're so fearful that they find something to run to and it's usually religion or other types of vices. If you're here on this channel, you're watching this right now, is you're, you're digging for something on a spiritual level, right? And in doing so, you start to find out your strengths and your weaknesses and that helps you move forward and help others move forward. And that's powerful and you're needing to do that because as I said, you guys are going to be a voice for a lot of people and a lot of people trust your words. And I feel like a lot of you guys are saying it. Ooh, that flew over there with compassion. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh my God. All you guys have is cups, cups, cups. You have the nine of cups and clarifying it is the four of cups. I'm going to tell you a lot of people initially are going to be doubtful. You see how this person is sitting here pouting. A lot of people are going to be doubtful about your words because right now they would rather be pouting because they feel safe. They feel safe pouting. They feel safe wallowing because right now they are in a place of disbelief and grief because there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be misplaced. And there's going to be upheaval for a lot of people amidst this pandemic. Okay. On a global level, a lot of people are going to be affected. And so they're not going to see the brighter side of things initially. And they're not going to see that there's change available to them. There's information available to them. Because right now on an emotional level, 
they're not balanced. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to come into their existence and their reality. Yeah. <laughs> and just as I said, they're not balanced at the bottom of the deck. You have the justice card in reverse. The justice card is about balance. It's in reverse. They're not balanced. And I didn't even see that when I said that to you guys. A lot of people aren't balanced and you're going to help them with that. Let's get a clarifying card for the Ace of Cups. One clarifying card for the Ace of Cups. Too many popped out. Nothing faced us, so I'm not going to take any. One card for the Ace of Cups for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. At the top of the deck, you have... I'm going to take the top two because that's what I'm guided to do. So there's a couple that popped up. At the top of the deck, I'm going to... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah. There's four that popped up, right? The rest of them were facing down. I'm going to... I'm going to acknowledge them, but to clarify the Ace of Cups, I'm going to tell you the Queen of Pentacles is clarifying that. The Queen of Pentacles is grounded. She's sitting on her throne. She's sure. She's steady. She promotes a sense of grounding. Pentacles is earthy about grounding. Some of you guys have earth sign placements in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, right? But also clarifying the Ace of Cups, it lets us know that you are giving people certainty, Pentacles are certainty. They're grounded. They have a firm foundation up under them. A queen is firm. I say this all the time about kings and queens in their decks. They don't ask questions. They're certain and sure about what their orders will be, what their next move will be. They don't ask anybody anything. They tell people what it's going to be. And like I said, a lot of people are going to be coming to you guys for guidance. And you're going to help them feel secure. Pentacle cards is also about security. And you're going to you're going to give a sense of security to others because they're going to feel like energetically they're going to sense that you are very intuitive and that your messages have merit behind them. And that your messages are divinely guided. A lot of you guys may not be aware. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys are, are empaths. And I noticed for a fact with all of this watery energy, look how many times, look how much this just literally water energy. This card specifically is letting me know that a lot of you guys are empaths and a lot of you guys are intuitives. And a lot of people are going to find your energy very grounding. And I know that for a fact, because look at this. The Queen of Pentacles is facing this Ace of Pentacles. Collectively, this energy merging and blending together, you're a very grounded person. And even if you don't feel like it right now, it's coming. If you feel like you're not grounded, grounded right now, it's coming. And then you're also going to be a catalyst for change for individuals. And you're going to help them become grounded. Because the messages that you relate to people... Even though initially they may be doubtful about it and they may not want to hear it and they want to sound pouty, right? They're going to sense that what you're picking up is something energetic that even they don't understand. But it's going to help them feel secure. I'm picking up a strong energy of security. You're becoming secure in your words and in your intuition and you're going to help others feel secure and grounded. And you're... When she's holding this pinnacle right here, it's telling me that some, you're like a gift to those around you. Your gift of intuition, your gift of empathetic, empathy, right, is going to be healing for a lot of people. There's healing in the water, as they say. There's water, water sign energy. You, you're going to be very healing. Your words are going to be very healing. Um, The cards that flipped upon it, words, what did I say? You have a queen of pinnacles here. Then you got a king of swords. As I said, the kings and queens, they're very stable. They're very certain of what it is that they're going to say. Your words are firm. Your words are taken. Ver I feel like a lot of people are going to be taking your words verbatim. They're going to take your words at face value. Okay. You have the temperance card. You're going to tell them to be patient. There's healing again in the water. There's healing in your words. When I say healing in the water, you're the water signs. There's healing in your words. You're almost going to come off like an earth angel to these individuals. Literally. One foot is on the earth. One foot is in the water. You guys are water signs. One foot on the earth. You guys are going to come off like earth angels to these individuals. Your words are going to seem divinely guided. And they are. The five of pentacles. Okay. A lot of people are feeling left out in the cold. Same energy. A lot of people are feeling fearful. And, and again, I'm going to say with these pentacles, a lot of people are feeling as though financially they are facing hardships because what's going on right now. And that could be the case. But I feel like your words are going to have them feeling like there's there's positivity in the future. Because, again, look at this. The Queen of Pentacles is facing 
this five of pentacles you're going to say words to them that's going to speak life into them and it's going to help them realize that you know right now you may feel like this is the case but looking forward into the future it's not going to be like this forever and your words are going to be taken positively your words are going to be taken positively okay so cancer pisces scorpio sun rising of venus individuals as always i'm going to ask that you continue to like share and subscribe and until next time take care bye